Chwale Gauti Ipate Se Khomilwe Bila Enuse Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, we bless God. We thank God. Uh, blessed, beautiful verse from all over the world, wherever you are, uh, whichever city, whichever continent, uh, whichever nation, whichever country that you are in, we bring you love. We bring you greeting from our Father, Papa Lesikodane. Welcome to the 19. We welcome you into the presence of God. We welcome you into the Thanksgiving service with 21 days of fasting and prayer. Uh, we are here to give thanks to God. We are here to appreciate God. We are here to offer ourselves as a Thanksgiving, as an offering to the Lord of glory, the Lord God Almighty for his fullness, uh, for his grace. His grace is everlasting. Uh, his fullness is everlasting. Uh, we are thanking God for all that he has done in our life. And we are giving him thanks for all that he's still going to do. Uh, on Facebook, we welcome you there. We greet you. Be greeted with the love of the Father. Be greeted with the love of the Father wherever you are streaming us from uh, on Facebook. Uh, also, we just quickly have to take a quick a quick break as the world is being being uh, uh, being taught, being preached by my brother Apostle Immortal. Uh, we will be back now. We will be back now. We will be back. We will be we will be with her right now shortly. Uh, we just want to come and give thanks to God on this platform and to appreciate God for his goodness, to appreciate God for his faithfulness. God remain God. God is love. God is faithful. He never changed. God has no reason to change. He is not a man that changed. Uh, neither is a son of man that needs to repent. 
He will do that he promises to do. And God has, has made a, a special plan for you and I, for us to have a, a place in our hearts to give thanks to him. And that special plan is for the son, uh, Jesus Christ, who came down on this earth and revealed and brought about the kingdom of the father to us. And the, the kingdom of God has been given unto us. So we are to give thanksgiving, being the kingdom of God. Uh, there is no way one can give thanksgiving. There is no way one can give thanks to God without not being the kingdom. There is no way one can give thanks to God and say Ebenezer without not being the kingdom. So we thank God for uh, the life of our glorious master, Jesus Christ, uh, who bear it all out for us, who bear his body out for us, who took all our pain, all our infirmity, who took all our worry, all our complaint, so that we will have no reason, no excuse not to give thanks. So if you are not giving thanks, check which kingdom are you in, which kingdom is in your heart, which, what kingdom is in the heart, what kingdom is manifesting in the heart, what kingdom is there in your heart. So it is time to give thanksgiving, it is time to pray. Uh, we invite you to join us as we are going to have a, a quick prayer before we begin. There is intercession, of course. We are to intercede for nation. We continue to intercede for the world, intercede for the leaders. We continue to intercede for every diaspora, those that are sick in their body, those that are feeling pain in their body. We continue to intercede for them. We give God all the glory. We give him all honor. We give him all adoration. For we know his grace is sufficient upon life of the, upon every life, upon those that are sick in their body. Every time we, we stand in the gap and we intercede for them, we know his glory. His glory comes down upon their life. So right now, wherever you are, wherever you are, join us as we are going to intercede. Join us as we are going to intercede for the nation, for the world. Let us pray, Father, Lord Almighty, we give you thanks. We give you honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallowed be thy name, Abba, Father. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Be thou magnified. Be thou exalted. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your grace. Your grace that is ever sufficient in our life. We thank you for your glory, your unfailing glory, your, your unfailing glory that never departs. We thank you for your love, your love that is steadfast in our life, O Lord. The love that remains abundantly. The love never, that never ceases to amaze us, Lord. We give you thanks, we give you glory, we give you honor. We thank you for your word that is faithfulness, O Lord. Your word is faithful because you are faithful. Faithful you are, faithful you ever remain, O Lord. Father, we give you thanks on this wonderful, blessed day that you have made for us. For we ought to be rejoiced and be glad in it, O Lord. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for that kingdom that you've given to us. We thank you for revealing the Son to us to bring down the kingdom unto us, Lord. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your world that has set us free, your world that has set us free from whatsoever captivity that, that held us bound before now. Father Lord Almighty, we give thanks to your holy name. We offer ourselves to you also, O oh Lord, and we ask thee that you can use us, Lord God Almighty, use us as you will, Lord God Almighty. We offer and present ourselves before your holy throne. We offer ourselves to you, Abba Father, saying, Lord, use us as you will, Lord God Almighty. Use us as you will, Abba Father. Let us be used as you will, Lord, not as men's will, but as you will, O Lord. That we, Lord God Almighty, we continue to see your glory upon our life. That we continue to see your word upon our life. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for giving and presenting unto our life, O Lord, a great shepherd from our book, Father Sekudanem, who continue to shepherd us into your glory, who continue to shepherd us into your mood, who continue to shepherd us, filling us and feeding us with the world from above, that supernatural food, the world from above, the world of life, the world of spirit, the world of good report. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. We say, let no mystery be made unto him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray for all our sundry in hospital. We pray for your glory, that your glory overshadow them. Your glory lift them up from that uh, issues that they have in their body. Your glory lift their body up from that sickness, from that diseases, from that infirmity, from whatsoever they may be afflicted with. Your glory lift them up from it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray for all the leaders, all the leaders of every country, of every nation, of every city, of every continent. We declare your glory upon the minds of the leaders. We say, let your word reign in their hearts. We say, let there be fear of the Lord in their minds, in their body. Let there be fear of the Lord in their gathering. Let there be fear of the Lord in their meeting, that they will do and, and fear the, the name the name God Almighty. Not, not to please men, but to please the Lord God Almighty. We continue to pray for all the children, all the boys and girls. We say, let your glory, your, your, your glory that never fails, the grace that never defaulted, the glory, your grace that is ever forevermore, your grace that is ever sufficient. We say, let it be more upon the life of the children. 
For, for the world says, blessed are the children of the Lord, for theirs is their kingdom. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the kingdom and the glory that you've given to us, we the children. We thank you, Abba Father. We continue to pray and stand in the gap for those that are suffering from all kinds of addition. Those that addition continue to wage war against. Father, we come against that addition in their lives. We come against that addition that has held them bound. Father, Lord Almighty, we send forth your word into their minds. We send forth your word into their mind, penetrating into their mind, breaking that barrier, breaking that defenses. That defense of addition is not been broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you glory. We give you honor. We adore your holy name. We magnify your holy name in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the master. Glory to the master. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Uh, greetings to you, uh, blessed viewers. Uh, once again, thank you for joining us. Uh, without taking much of our time, let's quickly uh, allow ourselves to be carried, to be carried by the Holy Spirit. Uh, let's allow ourselves to be to be driven by the Holy Spirit of God. Let's allow ourselves to be driven by the Holy Spirit of God as we want to go back to the meeting that we were before now, uh, which was the meeting of uh, uh, ROC and Rabboni Center Ministries, where we were better from, where we came from. Uh, uh, Apostle Imota is busy there teaching us the word continuation as it as it began from the day of from the uh, from the morning as we have uh, been busy with intercession. Uh, we thank God for His grace. Uh, we thank God for His love. Uh, listen to this uh, Hebrews chapter thirteen. Hebrews chapter thirteen. Re, 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 listen to this Hebrews chapter thirteen. I'll start from verse seven. Say, remember those who rule over you. Who has spoken the word of God to you? Whose faith follow, cons considering the outcome of their conduct? Verse 8 said, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Do not be carried about with various and strange doctrines, for it is good that the art be established by grace, not with food which have not profited. Those who have been occupied with them, those who have been occupied with them, those who have been occupied with them. We have been led to give thanks to God. We have been led from the spirit from above, the spirit of the Father, to give thanks, to appreciate the Lord of glory, to appreciate his fullness. God has been ever so kind in our life. God has been ever, ever be so faithful. He is faithful. He is a faithful God. He is no man that he should lie. When you put your trust and you allow them to lead you, you will see, you will see the fullness. You will see with your own eye. You will see with your own eye, God loving righteousness. That's the same book, the same book, the same book, uh, the same, uh, the same book, uh, Hebrews. Let's now flip back to uh, this, uh, chapter 12. Uh, chapter 12. Now listen to this. Listen to this. Chapter 12 now. I'm going to start from verse uh, 27. Now this, yet once more, indicates the removal of those things that are being shaken as of things that are made, that these things which cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, therefore, since we, we the children, remember we, we, we began with chapter 13. It is the same yesterday, today, and forever. But don't be carried about. Don't be carried about by various and strange doctrines. Listen to this, chapter 12, verse 28. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace by which may we serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Acceptably with what? With reverence and godly fear. He said, therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, the kingdom of God in us can never be shaken. Let me, let, let, let me just, let me blow this out openly to everyone. Everyone that is watching right now, everyone that will be watching on the later stage, Everyone that wants to listen and everyone that is listening, 
let me let, let me let me let me let me let you in on something right now. The year 2021 is almost coming to an end. And it was a year of trying times. It was a year of trying times. There were there were there were tough decisions that were to be made. And there were tough times that came. Now, how did you overcome? Remember, the kingdom of God in you can never be shaken. Meaning no, no pandemic virus, no Omicron, Omicron, Omicron or whatever it's called, Omicron. Uh, no fourth wave, no third wave, no variant, no whatsoever that can shake what is in you. But many, many due to fear, due to fear of what of what they've heard, due to fear of what they've seen, due to the fear of what people are saying. Many allow fear to take them. Listen, he said, he said here, he said, with godly fear, godly fear comes with godly discipline. Hey. You have not undergone godly, godly discipline. Then how can you fear God? Uh, 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 you serve God with a heart of arrogance, with the heart of pride, thinking you know it all. You may know the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Yet, eh, you are unable to discern because there is no presence of God within you. Because you do not carry the kingdom. You carry what? You carry gifts. You carry just knowledge. That is, you carry knowledge without inception, as our father has rightly taught us. You've carried knowledge without in inception. Because when you have fear of the Lord, now, now, this, this is what is called here. Yeah, Solomon said, the fear of the Lord, the godly fear of the Lord is the beginning and the fountain of wisdom. Solomon now refuses to allow the discipline of the Father. He refused to enter into the discipline of the Father. That's why he wrote in the book of Ecclesiastes that the moment, the moment he allowed himself to be led by the wisdom of the, of, of the world, he now began to receive earthly, earthly wisdom, earthly vices. A fear of Omicron, a fear of variant hit you so hard that you began to question the divine and strength mighty harm upon your, upon your life then something is definitely wrong with you and what you perceive in your spirit. Then you know you've committed a, a, atrocity before God because now you believe in the work of men. You believe in the doing of men. You believe in the doing of men. You allow the way of men to lead you. You allow the way of men to control you. You allow the way of men to speak to you. You allow the way of men to dictate into your life, then what kind of thanksgiving do you want to give to God? Rather, you should be thanking the men that you are, are, are afraid of. You should rather be thanking those men that you are scared of. You should rather be thanking those men that, they are, that the work of their hand continue to be what you reverend. Because you lack wisdom, you lack knowledge. Listen to this. Hebrews 12, 28. Therefore, since we are receiving, what is it that we are receiving? A kingdom which cannot be shaken. Let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. I love that word, godly fear. Godly fear cannot happen if there is no godly discipline. You cannot experience godly fear if you are yet to be disciplined. If you are yet to be disciplined, how then can you how, how then can you uh, uh, experience how then can you experience uh, uh, godly discipline? How then can you experience godly discipline? Uh, let's quickly, because of time, the Holy Spirit does not retire. Let's quickly go to the book of Malachi. Let's quickly go to the book of Malachi. Uh, Malachi chapter three. Let's start from verse six. Say, for I am the Lord, I do not change. For I am the Lord, I do not change. God is not a man, he is the same as yesterday. God is not a man that he should lie, neither a son of man that he should repent. Listen, what God says he will do, God will do. If you lack diligence, you lack patience, then you began to walk 
of you begin you began to walk out of God's promises. His promises is the same. His promises is the same as yesterday. His promises is the same as today. His promises is, is internal. His promises in our life is internal. Say so God is the same as yesterday. God is the same as today. God remains the same forever. You say, for I am the Lord, I do not change. Weather can change. Autumn can come and go. Spring can come and go. Winter can come and go. Summer can come and go. But the word of the Lord remains. The word of the Lord remains. And God is, is the word. It remains. It never changes. You see, yet from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances. You see, you have gone away from my ordinances. Many, many are unable to keep to the command of God. Many are able to hold on to the command of God. Many are able to hold on to his teaching. And he said, if you can hold on to my teaching, uh, Jesus said, if you hold on to my teaching, you become of God. You become of God. And how can one become of God? When you hold on to the teaching of Jesus Christ, you have seen the Father. Because the Father, the Word, lives in Jesus. The Word lives in the Son. The prophet, the prophet and the old, they did not hold on to his ordinances. They did not hold on to his statute. They did not keep to his law. They did not keep to his command. Due to the fear of where they find themselves. Even the Israel that were taken out of out of out of the pit of uh, the pit of death, they were they were impatient not to know where and the plan of God for their life. They began to murmur. They allow murmuring was controlling them. Murmuring was speaking for them. <laughs> where are you taking us, Moses? Where where is you and your God taking us to? Now listen to this. Listen to this. I repeat Malachi chapter 3 from verse 6. For I am the Lord, I do not change. Why? He has no reason to change. He has no reason to change. Let me use this. Let me use this uh, NLT version here quickly. Uh, let me use N NLT version here quickly. NLT version here quickly. Yes. Listen to this. I am the Lord. Malachi 3 verse 6. I am the Lord. And I do not change. That is why you, descendant of Jacob, are not already destroyed. Ever since the days of your ancestors, you have sworn my decrees and failed to obey them. Now return to me and I will return to you. Now return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of every armies. But you ask, how can we return? when we have never gone away. Should people cheat God, yet you have cheated me? Should people, should people cheat God, yet you have cheated me? Now they are asking, how can we return when we never left in the first place? How can we return when you never left in the first place? You left because you do not keep to his command. You left because you do not keep to his instruction. You left his presence because you do not abide in his instruction. That's why your thanksgiving is not acceptable. Cain was instructed, give, give the best. Offer the best. He was told to offer the best. Offer to the Lord who will provide for you. Offer to the owner. Give back to the owner, the one who gives to you. The animals that you that you own is the one who costs it who costs it for you to have it. Now the instruction came: give give an offering, give an offering. Now you took the the, the most decayed one, the one that is almost at the door at the at the doorpost of death, to offer. Hmm? Thus you are leaving the east presence. And where the presence of God is not, guess what comes in there? The evil spirit comes in. Where the presence of God is not uh, present in the life of believers, in the life of Christians, what you see and what you witness is evil spirit. That's why evil spirit tormented Saul. Because he was no longer with the presence of God. The presence of God was no longer with him. The presence of God was no longer there with him. The presence of God already departed from him. 
then it, 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 it paved way for the evil spirit to come in. And just so you know, Saul tried all kind of thanksgiving. He tried all kind of offering to appeal to appeal to the Lord God Almighty. He has he has a, a, a word, forsaken the instruction that was given to him. He, 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 he forsake the instruction that was given to him. So listen to this. He said, should people cheat God? Yet you have cheated me. But you ask, why? what do you mean? When did we ever cheat you? When did we ever cheat you? He asked, you have cheated me on the tithes and the offering due to me. Cain, 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 Cain intended to cheat. No one can cheat the Lord God Almighty. You cannot cheat God. It's impossible for anyone, anybody on earth in heaven to cheat God. It's impossible. You cannot rob God. You cannot cheat God. This is it. You have cheated me of the tithes and the offering due to me. You are under a curse. Now, what, what befell what if I came when he tried? He was at the point, remember, he went, he went to give a thanksgiving. Cain went to give a thanksgiving with his brother. They both, they both gave thanksgiving. Now, Abel gave the best thanksgiving, and his best was accepted. Now, Cain did not give the best, and it was not acceptable. And what happened to him? He was cursed. That's why uh, 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 evil spirit penetrated into, into his life. John 10, verse 10. I have come that you may have life, super abundant life. But the thief, the thief that was created, a thief was created. A thief was created for those who disobey. A thief was created for those who do not keep the ordinances of God. The thief was created for those who do not keep to the command, to the instruction. Those who refuse to hold on to his command. Those who refuse to hold on to his teaching. So a thief was created for such. That's why Cain was found wanting. The moment Cain did not give what was best, in the moment the thief had access to his life. Hallelujah. So I love you, Jesus. So I love you, Jesus. He said, now you are under a curse. I'm reading for verse 9. You are under a curse for your own nation has been cheating me. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse so there will be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of heaven, heaven's armies, I will open the windows of heaven for you. If you keep, you will be blessed. 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 No, that's why Jesus... Uh, Jesus often used the children eh, and speak about them. Luke 12, Matthew 17. Say, eh, no one should hinder these little ones. When you speak to them, they listen. When you are talking to them, they listen. Children have tendency of listening when you are talking to them. That's why uh, whatever you are speaking, whatever you are saying to them, let it be of righteous. Let it be of good report. Let it be of noble. Because as a child is growing, a child will not depart from whatsoever the parents is been teaching or has been giving to the child. So Jesus said, remain like this little ones, for theirs is their kingdom. So keeping becomes easy for them, not because of their children, because they obey. Because when you do not obey his ordinances, how is it possible for you to keep what you do not obey? How can you keep what you will not, what you do not obey? How can you keep when you do not practice what you've been told? How can you keep what when you're not putting into action the words that you've been given unto? Because this is faith in action. Faith comes by hearing and obeying. You can't just hear without obeying. Likewise, you cannot obey without not hearing. So hearing and obeying. Putting what you've been told into practice, into action. When you are being told you've cheated God, it does not mean that you stop going to church or you or you stop coming to Zoom 
Check your ways. Check your ways. Check your ways. Check your conduct. Check where you were. Check your activity for the day. Check the utterances of your mouth. Check the thoughts that you were desiring. Check the meditation that you are busy meditating. Because when you are busy with all of this such, you are busy letting yourself out of his presence. That's why when you come now to give thanksgiving, you are shouting, praise God, hallelujah, God is good. But in your heart, you are not receiving. There is no abundance of joy in your heart. There is no rejoicing in your heart. There's no rejoicing. You see, give thanks to God for he is good. The goodness must come into your heart. When you praise him, you will feel it in your heart. It will come to your heart. The message will come into your heart. But in your case, you are saying, God is good. God is everlasting. Hallelujah. But you are not receiving his goodness. You are not receiving his kindness. You are not receiving faithfulness. Why? You are no longer in his presence. Say, repent, because the time is coming and the time has come. Repent from your ways. God does not change. His word never changes. It is you who change. It is you who allow yourself to be led due to COVID pandemic virus. It is you who allow yourself to be misled due to Omicron. It is you who allow yourself to be misled due to what? A variant, due to what? Poverty, due to sickness. What is too, what is too difficult for the Lord God Almighty to do? Genesis 14, Genesis 15. What is too difficult for the Lord to do? Is there anything too difficult for me to do? God himself, ask. Ask Abraham and Sarah, is there anything too difficult for me to do? Is there anything too difficult for me to do? Because by her mind, she knew she has passed the biological time. She knew she has passed her ticking time. And there's no way. So she put her own plans into action. Such are the plans of your heart, but not the plans of God. Such are the desire of your heart. Such are the desire of your mind, but not the desire of God. Not the plan of God for you, for yourself. God says, I have thought, Jeremiah 29 verse 11, God says, I have thought and plans for your life. So now you, you are busy making plans for your own uh, your own plans. You are you are busy thinking of your own ways, thinking how you're going to prosper yourself because you heard or you saw someone and the person say, I'm a self-made. When someone says, I'm a self-made, do you take your time to examine what that person said or what that person mean by that? Or you just literally now want to become a self-made there? The world, it's only the world that made. Anyone I say to you, I'm a self-made. No, <laughs> listen to this. It's, 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 speaking, it's speaking on time. Speaking on time. Let's go on there. Let's go on there because of time. The Holy Spirit does not retire. So verse 10, say, bring all the tithes into the storehouse so there will be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of heaven's armies, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great. I will pour out a blessing so great. I will pour out a blessing so great. You won't have enough room to take it in. So the blessing that the Lord God Almighty will pour out on you, it will be so great. It will be so might. It will be so glorious that there will be no space. No space. You will have no space to, to contain his blessing. Listen to this. We saw this happening. We saw this happening in John 21. We saw this happening. We saw how uh, 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 Peter said, I'm going back to fishing, and they followed him. And, and, and when, when, when the, when the uh, Messiah came, when the Christ came, when Jesus came, and one of the disciples saw him and said, Peter is Rabbi, is Rabbi, is the master. Peter put on his clothes. And, and, and Jesus has addressed them as babies, little children. What have you caught? Nothing. Nothing. 
nothing. Okay, now throw cast on the right. Cast on the right. Now the blessing of God now come. Cast on the right. The blessing of God comes from the heart of God. Cast on the right. The heart of God. That's where the blessing, our blessing lies. Say, cast on the right. Now, Peter, Simon, Simon, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? They caught one kind of fish. It was so heavy. It was so heavy that the net actually broke. The blessing of God, the room, the room that you're staying in, the room that you find yourself cannot contain the blessing of God. It's overflow. It's riches upon riches, favor upon favor, mercy upon mercy, glory upon glory, love upon love, faithfulness upon faithfulness. It's riches in glory. It's eternal, everlasting. It never expired. Unlike man-made, man-made expired. It's time, they give time. So, so time, it's finished, it expired. So I love you, Jesus. Now let's continue there. Because of time, the Holy Spirit does not retire. Amen. It says here, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great you won't have enough room to take it in. Try it. Put me to test. Now God is saying, put me to test. What kind of thanksgiving are you offering to God? Put your thanksgiving to test. What kind of thanksgiving are you offering to the Lord God Almighty? Put your thanksgiving to test. Put your thanksgiving to, to what? To test. Say, put your thanksgiving to test. What kind of thanksgiving are you giving? Put your thanksgiving to test. He said, your crops will be abundant for how we guide them from insects. Imagine God guiding your crops, guiding your vegetation. Safeguarding your farm from intruders. When insects descend on plants, on plant, people depend on, on, on chemicals. People depend on chemical to treat the insect, to deal with the insect. You end up the food now that they are being supposed to be organic becomes becomes chemical. Because now there've been a lot of chemicals on the food disease. You've, you'll discover that many people have been consuming chemical rather than organic. The farmer wants to get rid of insects. At the process, the crops caught a lot of chemical. And the farmer had to say anyway, as long as it's good, as long as it looks good, because there is no sign or any uh, insect. But now, but now, listen, we have the one. Who will save guide the, the, the plant? Who, who will safeguard the crop from insect penetrating? <laughs> so I love you, Jesus. I love God. The one that will, who will safeguard your crop, your crop will not only live long, but they will blossom. They will be alive. Because we have the one whose right hand is upon them, busy watching them. Nothing can penetrate them. Nothing can hinder them. They will grow. They will shine. They will reflect the glory of the Father. That's what Jesus is saying here. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to what the word is saying here. Listen to what the word is saying here. Your crops will be abundantly for I will guide them. So God will personally guide your crops because you obey his word. Because you keep his ordinance. Because you hold on to his teaching. You hold on to his instruction. Your crops are saved. He will guide them. Now listen to this. Your crops will be abundantly full. I will guide them from insects and diseases. Uh, your grapes will not fall from the vine before they are ripe, says the Lord of heaven armies. Then all nations will call you blessed. Ever wonder why nation call our father, our mentor, brother, super blessed? No, he keep to the word of God. He keep to the word of God. The word of the Lord came to him and, and, and commanded him to say to the son, in the same reign, in the same manner, he declared to we the son and said, sons, daughters, rabbinites from all over the world, this is the word of the Lord that has come. Close the structure. Give thanks in your home. Ah! 
Because he, he was he, he has no time to please anyone. He has no time to please the members. He has no time to please any single one. No, no, no. He is to please God. And God is pleased to let his fullness dwell in such body, in such heart, in such mind. That is why, that is why he's blessed. That is why he's blessed. Last year we did, we did to the top. <laughs> We've done celebration more than even when we gathered. We celebrated even more than we used to gather. This year, likewise, we did every day is a celebration. Every day we celebrate. We just finished 19 years uh, 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 two, three weeks ago. Now we're counting 20 years. <laughs> oh, today, oh, two decades. Né? Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. The glory of the Lord, it never ends. It never fails. It never changes. It's not a weather that changes. It remains. And it comes upon all those who obey, who keep. You obey, you keep, you receive. You obey, you keep, you receive. It does not default. Listen to this. Let's go there, let's go there. Malachi chapter 3. Let's go there quickly. Uh, verse 12. Then all nations will call you blessed. For your Lord will be such a delight, says the Lord of heaven armies. You see? Get to the level where God will be delighted. Get to the level where God will be delighted. Delighted by what you're doing. Get to the level where God will be delighted by your doing. Get to the level where God will be delighted by your obedience. Get to the level where God will be delighted by your obedience. When you obey the word so, so magnificent, you obey the word so true. Get to that level where God will be so delighted by your obedience. When God will see your obedience. Then let's go on there. 13. You have said terrible things about me, says the Lord. But you say, what do you mean? What have we said against you? You have said, what is the use of serving God? Haven't many said this? Haven't many said this word? Haven't many thought about this? Because something happened now, you begin, you began to say, what is the use of serving God? Because something happened now, you begin to blame God. Because something happened now, you begin to say, where is God? Because, because something happened, you began to say, what is the use of serving God? Haven't, haven't, haven't many thought about this? Haven't many sinned against God by mere thinking of this? A mere thought of this is sinning against the Lord of glory. A mere confessing this with your mouth is made sinning against the Lord of glory because it remains in your mind. See? But you say, listen, verse 13, Malachi 3, verse 13, you have said terrible things about me, says the Lord. But you say, what do you mean? What have we said against you? You have said, what is the use of serving God? What have we gained by obeying his command? That is, so those now who obey his command, yet they see the evil, they see the wicked uh, uh, progressing. Many see evil doers progressors. Many see those who are practicing idolatry progressing. Now, those that are keeping the word now begin to murmur and say, What is the use of serving God? What is the use of clinging on to his word? What is the use of keeping his ordinances? Where those that are practicing evil, those that do evil, those that believe in evil, they are doing well. Sinning against the Lord of glory. Listen to this. Listen to this. You have said, what is the use of serving God? What have we gained by obeying his command or by trying to show the Lord of heaven's armies that we are sorry for our sins? Say, from now on, we will call the arrogant blessed. For those who do evil get rich, and those who dear God to punish them to suffer no suffer to punish them, suffer no harm. Now, listen to this, verse 16. Then those who fear the Lord spoke with each other, and the Lord listened to what they said. And the Lord listened to what they said. Then those who fear the Lord spoke with each other, and the Lord listened to what they said. In his presence, a scroll of remembrance was written 
to record the names of those who feared him and also thought about the honor of his name. So, so instead of instead of wallowing, instead of busy busy yourself looking at your neighbor, looking at your next door neighbor, looking at evil people around you, seeing them driving all kind of cars, seeing them uh, seeing them uh, uh, showing showing what they had, material things. Never allow yourself to be cajoled by material things. Never allow yourself to be cajoled with things that are perishable. Listen to this. He says here, verse 16. Then those who fear the Lord spoke with each other. Malachi 3, verse 16. Say, then those who fear the Lord spoke with each other, and the Lord listened to what they said. You see, the law of discipline, the godly discipline that leads to godly fear, it, 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 take, it takes us to a level whereby when we pray, when we give thanks, God listen. When we give thanks, God listen. Whereby when we speak, God gives his attention. This is the level that God had mandated and intended for us. This is his intended purpose unto our life. This is his intended purpose for us, that when he speak, when he speak, when we speak, when we speak, God wants to listen to us. God wants to hear, hear us when we speak. Not, not uh, uh, a cry of uh, the one that is uh, uh, committing murder, the one that is committing rape, the one that is uh, 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 in, the, in, the, in the business of uh, 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 alcoholism, drugs, and whatever, uh, uh, they are progressing. Say, speak whatever that is noble. He said, whatever that is of righteous, whatever that is of good report. Because against, against such thing, there is no accusation. He said, whatever that is pure, against such thing, there is no, there is no accusation. Now, let's finish there. Let's finish there quickly. Let's finish there quickly. Then those who fear the Lord spoke with each other, and the Lord listened to what they said in his presence. A scroll of remembrance was written. As it was, so it is now. You think the Lord God Almighty is not aware of you giving the thanksgiving with a pure heart. You think the Lord God Almighty is not aware with the time that you spend in giving thanks to God, in appreciating God, in doing good unto others, in admonish, admonishing the, the faith of God unto others, in serving and giving the poor where you are not showing off. You know, many, even though the Bible commanded, Matthew, Matthew commanded, uh, the, what you give to someone with your right hand, do not let the left hand see. You find that many people, uh, they do not practice that. They don't practice that. They don't practice that. God is aware of what you are doing. God examine your heart. A heart that is not genuine. Such heart, uh, uh, a thanksgiving that comes from such heart, is not, uh, God does not listen to such, such thanksgiving. So when, when Cain was blabbering there, speaking, uh, offering, God wasn't paying attention to him. God wasn't listening to him. Rather, God was giving his attention to the brother Abel. And where the, the fullness of God is, there comes his presence. If God gives his attention to you and God listens to you, he comes with his presence. You will be enveloped. You will be overshadowed with his presence, which is the glory. That's why the glory of the Lord overshadows those, those who speak. The Lord listen. When our Father speaks, when the Son is speaking, the glory of the Lord overshadows us. The glory of the Lord overshadows us. God listen when we speak. God open his ear, open his heart, because our heart it is in our heart. It lives in our heart. God lives in your heart, blessed viewers. Do not take yourself away. Do not separate yourself away. He has made he has made your heart is the banaku. Listen to listen to Revelation 21, verse 3. The dwelling of God is now in with men. Your tent is where God resides. So let your meditation be of pure. Let's whatsoever that is uh, uh, coming to your mind, let it be of good report. Let it be of noble. Let's finish that quickly. It says here, verse 17, they will be my people, says the Lord. They will be my people, says the Lord of heaven's armies, 
on the day when I act in judgment, they will be my own special treasure. Be God's own special treasure. Be God's own special treasure. Do you know what it means to be God's own special treasure? Where you become his treasure. Where you become his treasure. You see, Apostle Paul was so, he was so blessed that he became the richest apostle of all time. He became the richest apostle. In favor upon favor, riches upon riches, glory upon riches, glory upon glory, they were all abundantly for, uh, uh, to him. They were all abundantly to him. The, he had no reason to struggle. There was no need for him to struggle. What, what struggle? Would, what 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 kind of struggle would he be looking for? What kind of struggle would he? Would he what kind of struggle would he move, would hinder him? When the blessing of God was so ab abundantly, but now remember, he had to undergo. He had to undergo severe, severe series of uh, of uh, uh, levels of uh, of uh, of uh, persecution. He, he, he suffered. He suffered serious levels of persecution, and in all that time, he keep to the word. He keeps to the command. He kept to the first voice that that he heard. The first voice that spoke to him: "For my name's sake, you will suffer. For my name's sake, you will suffer." So you're not going to carry the name of the Lord without you going through the suffering. That's why Romans eight says, "If you are willing to share in my joy, if you are willing to share in my laughter." If you are willing to share my rest, you say, also be willing to share my suffering. Many do not want to share in suffering, but they want to give thanks to God, but you don't want to share in suffering. You want to give thanks and you are complaining, you are mourning, murmuring, murmuring, like the Israelites, like they did. God does not like a murmuring act. God does not welcome a murmuring act. What are you murmuring for? What is it that you, what, where, where is the lack? Is there any lack in God? Can God lack anything? Is there anything too difficult for me to do? Can God lack anything? Yet you want to give thanksgiving with a murmuring heart. You are giving thanks because you are you are told to do so. You are giving thanks to God because you just feel like. Meaning there is no cooperation in your heart. Meaning there is no presence of God in your heart. You are doing it because you saw someone you know doing it. Amen. Verse 17. They will be my people, says the Lord of heaven armies. On the day I will act in judgment, they will be my own special treasure. I will spare them as a father spares an obedient child. Many, if you're not obedient, there is no sparing. Simply put, let me just simplify it. If there is no obedient, there is no sparing. Listen, I will say, I will spare them as a father spares an obedient child. I will spare them as my father spares an obedient child. Become like this little one, for theirs is the kingdom. Become like this little one, for theirs is the kingdom. He says here, between the righteous, then, verse 18, then you we again see the difference between the righteous and the wicked. Uh, you still murmuring in your thanksgiving. Then you are no different from those who are progressing, doing evil. Because you are murmuring, there is no difference between you and them. But when you still see what you are looking at, you see people around you, people you know, people you are familiar with, who seems to be progressing with evil, but you never allowed it or allow yourself to be misled by their activities. You never allow yourself to join what the, whatsoever they are doing. Rather, you keep to the world. You never allowed what they are doing to entice you. Nothing Peter did in Galatians 2, Galatians 3, nothing did that entice Apostle Paul. Rather, Apostle Paul rebuked him. Apostle Paul rebuked him. Apostle Paul was not interested. He said, I'm not even interested in your gift. I'm only interested in your welfare. I'm only interested in your welfare, not about your gift, not about what you want to give. I'm only interested. My concern with you is your welfare. 
What is the state of your mind? What is the state of your mind? I'm only interested in your welfare. I am interested in your welfare, in your welfare. That's what I'm interested in. So what is the state of your mind? What is, what, what is the state of mind? Will you, will, you, will you ask and will you say to yourself, why do I bother to pray? This is, the, this, is what is, this is what has been happening in the mind of many Christians today. Why do, I, why do I wake up to pray when God has forsaken me? Who told you God has forsaken you? Who told you God has rejected you? Who told you God has forsaken you? Is it what you carry and the notion you carry in your heart? Is it notion you carry in your mind? Who brought you that fake news that God has rejected you? Don't you know in him, in him was life and the life became the light of the world. You are the light of the world. It's a city on a hill, a light that can never be dimmed. Because in all the suffering Apostle Paul went through, he, each time there's a collection. That's why he knew the secret of making it. That's why I, said, I know now the secret of making it. He had no reason now to begin to employ. No, he said, I have the reason. I have, I have the secret code. He has a secret code. The secret code. What is the secret code? Let's say viewers, obedient, obedient. Remain obedient. Don't allow yourself to be misrule. Don't allow yourself to be misled. Don't allow yourself to come to a conclusion to say, why do I serve God? Don't allow yourself to arrive in a conclusion to say, why do I bother to pray? Don't allow yourself to, to come to a conclusion to say, God has forsaken me because others are getting blessed. Uh, see your friend, the ones that you were in university with is now a CEO. The, one, or the other one is a director. The other one is now managing a company. The other one is a founder of this. The other one is an innovator. The, one, the other one is a banker. The other one is a doctor. The other one is a lawyer. The other one is a, is a, is a, a, a top businessman. Now you begin now to demean yourself. You begin to look down upon yourself. Now when it's time for you to give thanks already, that, that notion that you carry already begin to speak in your mind. Now you begin to hate yourself. Now you begin to think, well, why should I even? Do you not know that you are sinning all the more? Do you not know you are the one that you are injuring yourself? from entry into the plan that God has for you? Do you not know you are the one that is stopping yourself? You are stopping yourself. You are literally stopping yourself from entry into the promises of the Father, the promise to keep you safe, the promise to prosper you and not to fail you, the promise to prosper you and not to harm you, the promise to lift you up and not to fail you. You are the one now injuring yourself from entering into such promises because you've allowed your mind to be clouded by what you're looking at by what you've heard, and by what you think you know. Because your eyes are supposed to be what have not been seen. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeremiah 33, verse 3, said, call unto me, and I will show to you. I will answer thee. I will answer thee. And I will show to you what is unseen. So you are supposed to see what is not seen, what is unseen. You are supposed to hear what is unknown. Not what you are seeing, not what you know, not what you think, not what you thought you knew. You were supposed to be led by what is unseen and what is unknown. That's how you begin to give thanksgiving that reflects his glory. Thanksgiving that welcomes his presence. Thanksgiving that speaks of his presence. Thanksgiving that speaks of his might. Listen to this as we're going to be wrapping up now. So I love you, Jesus. Uh, Malachi 3, verse 17 said, They will be my people, says the Lord of heaven's armies, on the day when, when I act in judgment. They will be my own special treasure. Uh, we are addressing you now, blessed viewers, as God's own treasure. God's own treasure. I will spare them as a father spares an obedient child. Then you will again see the difference between the righteous and the wicked, you again will see. Remember, you are coming from a place, the ancestral line, 
you come, you are coming from ancestral line where you follow the full step of your grandfather, your great grandfather, you follow the full step of your great, great, great ancestral line because that line is steep naked, that line is so stubborn, that line never want to hold on, that line, that lineage never want to keep to the ordinances, that lineage never want to hold on to, to his work. That's why Jesus said, do not be like your ancestors, do not be like your forefathers. Do not be like your forefathers. They, they, they see the blessing and they refuse to hold on. They refuse to enter it. Do not be like them. So now God had to make a special plan so that uh, we, we can and be able to give him thanks in true reflection of his glory. That's why he gave us his only begotten son. Now, the Christ now had to come now. He has to come now and brought, and brought about the kingdom of God to us here on earth to review the kingdom of God. So this is how we give this. Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Hallowed be thy name. Thanks thanks and praise be to your holy name. Our Father, thanks and praise be to your holy name. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. You have to be in that kingdom to do the will that is in heaven on earth. You have to be the kingdom of God for you to do the will that is in heaven as on earth. I repeat again. I repeat again. Malachi 3, verse 18. Then you will again see the difference between the righteous and the wicked. So who is the righteous? Christ. God is righteous. And God gave us Christ the righteous. And whoever seen Christ have seen God. So whoever that is in Christ will become righteous. And without righteousness, one cannot see the kingdom. Without righteousness of God, one cannot enter the kingdom. Without the righteousness of God, one cannot give thanksgiving that is pleasant to God. So Cain was unrighteous. That's why his thanksgiving was not acceptable. The moment Saul became obedient, sin, it, 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 uh, Saul sinned through the act of disobedience. Now sin is unrighteousness. <laughs> obedience is righteousness. But sin is unrighteousness. So the moment Saul sinned, Saul became unrighteous. That's why uh, the righteousness of God, which is the prince of God, was no longer with him. Now he was with David. And the moment David was confirmed with the anointing, which means it was the instruction that God gave to Samuel, go to the house of Jesse and find me a king. A man after my own heart. And God called a boy a man. God called a boy a man. David was then a boy, but God called him a man. So God was not seeing a boy. Rather, God was seeing a man. That's why God said to uh, uh, Samuel, go to the house of Jesse. I have found me a king, a man after my own heart. His name is David. Now go there and anoint him. Now uh, Samuel will also was still be clouded with the thought of God forgiving so he was even pleading, he was pleading, he was pleading on behalf of Saul. Say, God, if you can forgive Saul, no, 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 you cannot dictate for the Lord of glory, you cannot speak for the Lord of glory. No, the Lord God Almighty gives you instruction. Listen to this Samuel was now not behaving like his forefather. Samuel was at that moment wanted to behave like his forefather, thinking and pleading for Saul mercy. You can plead where the prince of God has left someone. That's why God said to him, why do you bother? Why do you bother yourself? When my presence is no longer there, many you still find time. You still find time. Go to where the presence of God is no longer there. Because of the sign that you see in that person, because of the performance of the person, because you saw the way the person is doing prophecy, you saw the way the person is doing healing, you saw the way the person is doing the deliverance. And that brought you to that person. Not God taking you to that person. Not God taking you to that person to shepherd you. No, no. You allowed yourself to come to that person because of the sign that you are looking at. So sign leads you. But we are supposed to be a sign. Say this sign will accompany you. So you are to be the sign. When Jesus sent his disciple, he never said the money. It was a sign that accompanied them. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. So, verse 18 said, Then you will again see the difference between the righteousness and the wicked, between those who serve God and those who do not. Between the righteous and the wicked. Between Christ chosen, remember John 16, we, John 15, verse 16, we do not 
we do not choose him, he chose us. We do not choose him, he chose us. And they choose us to be righteous. And for us to be righteous is obedience to his what? Obedience to his message. Obedience to his instruction. And keeping to his instruction. So God be the glory, blessed viewers. We are going to pray right now. We are going to pray right now. We are going to pray right now. Wherever you are, we encourage you on Facebook. Join us as we are going to give thanks to God right now. Join us as we are going to give thanks right now before we join Prabhupada Center Ministry. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you thanks. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Let's say be your holy name, Abba Father. Thank you for your word that has come to teach us more of you, Lord. Thank you for revealing the kingdom unto us, Lord. Thank you for granting us the kingdom, O Lord. Thank you for the son that has come to lay down his life that we may receive and know you all the more, Lord, God Almighty. Father God, we thank you, Lord. We know uh, we are on earth here to review, Lord. We know that we are on earth here to bound and to lose whatsoever, Lord. Father, we give you thanks. We give you honor. We give you adoration for the grace that you have bestowed unto us. The grace to review your might. The grace to review your power. The grace to review your glory on this earth, Lord God Almighty. Father, we have corporately joined and come together from in respect of whatever we may be, whatever we may come from, whatever language, whatever ethnicity. What we know is the love that is in our heart. The love that you freely bestowed unto us. The love that we freely received from you, Lord. Father God Almighty, we pray for nation. We pray for leaders. We declare your glory upon nations. We declare your glory upon minds, Lord. We say, let it be your will at work, Lord. As it is in heaven on earth, here, Lord. As you have given us the grace. As you have given us the authority. As you have given us the power, Lord. For us to bind and for us to lose, Lord. We bind every ruler. We bind every principality. We cease, we cease what? The, 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 cap, the captivity. The thoughts of rulers. The thought of principality, Lord. The imagination that is not from our Above, Lord, that is in the mind of the leaders, in the mind of every sundry, in the mind of people that are in the position of authority. Lord God Almighty, we seize every captivity that is not of your glory. We arrest such captivity and we subject them to the obedience of the Lord Almighty. We subject to the obedience of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We subject all, all thoughts that is not of your glory, every thought that is impure, every thought that is of unrighteousness, every thought that is not from above, every thought of killing, stealing, destruction, every thought from rulers and principalities we submit them to your obedience we arrest the thoughts in the minds of people, in the minds of the addicts in the mind of those that are sick in the body in the mind of those that are going through all issues all difficulties, every challenges every hardship that they are going through right now, Lord God Almighty we penetrate the word that not penetrate, the sent word penetrate into their minds, the sent word penetrate into their body, the sent word penetrate into their heart, the sent word penetrate into, into their mortal being right now, arrest every thought of captivity, arresting every thought of failure, those that they see themselves as failure, those that they deem failure, those that they have caused failure right now, we seize that captivity, we seize that captivity, Lord Almighty, we declare your glory, we bind that captivity in their minds, we bind that captivity in their, being, in their being, we bind that captivity in their spirit, we bind that captivity in their hearts right now, we declare your fullness, we declare your glory, we declare your grace, the abundant grace, the unfailing glory, the riches in glory upon all our sundry, upon the leaders, upon all the ministers of the gospel, upon all those that are going through every challenges, every hardship, every situation of life. We declare your glory. We declare your righteousness upon their life. We declare your glory upon those that are suffering from addiction. We say, let your glory speak abundantly upon them. We say it is over with addiction. It is over with that addiction. Addition that is waging war against their life. Addition that has made so some of them to leave their family home, addition that has left, made some of them to leave their husband, to leave their wife, to leave their children, addition that has made people to abandon their homes, to abandon their family. Lord God Almighty, that thought of addition, we arrest that thought in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We arrest that thought, God, God Almighty. We arrest such thought. We penetrate upon all hospitals, every hospital world. Those that receive report, those that the medical practitioner have given have given false report. Father Lord Almighty, we present, we present, we present a better report to them. We present a better report to them. Whose report would they believe? The report from above. 
The reports from above has come upon them. Their minds right now, the reports of above penetrate into their minds. The reports of above penetrate into their mind, setting captivity free, losing them from whatsoever that bound them, losing them from whatsoever that held them captive, losing them from whatsoever that held them captive. Their mind right now is being aligned in the world. Their mind right now is receiving freedom. Their mind right now is being liberated. That captivity is, they are being liberated from it. That captivity of your, they are being liberated from it right now. It is your glory that is at work upon minds. It is your riches in glory that is at work of, upon every mind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you honor. We give you glory. We adore your holy name. We bless your holy name. Lord God Almighty, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercy. Let your kingdom that you have placed in our heart, let the kingdom that you freely given to us, let us continue to reveal it, the grace to reveal it, oh Lord God Almighty. We thank you for the grace that you freely given unto us. We thank you, Abba Father. Let your name be magnified in our heart. Let your name continue to be our door in our heart, oh Lord. Father Almighty, Father Lord God Almighty, we continue to pray for the youth, the children, the boys and girls, Lord God Almighty. We bring them before you and we present them before you, Lord God Almighty. We say, let your grace, Lord, your unfailing grace continue to abundantly rest upon all children, upon all boys and girls, upon the children and the youth, Lord God Almighty. We say, we say the youth, Lord, the youth, the youth, the youth, those that are finished with studies, those that are finished with exams, those that are about to make a conscious decision, Lord God Almighty, we present their decision before you. We present their decision before you. Those that are being misled, through imagination, Lord God Almighty. We penetrate into their minds, Lord, and we seize that imagination, every wrong imagination, every imagination that does not reflect your glory, every imagination that does not reflect the sun, every imagination that does not reflect the cross, Lord God Almighty. We see such and we arrest, we, we take captivity of such in the minds of the youth, upon their minds, upon their heart. We see such captivity and we continue to declare your glory upon all the minds of the youth. We pray for nation that is at war. We pray for nation that is experiencing political unrest. Nation in Africa, nation in Africa, nation in Europe, nation in North and South America, even nation in Asia, nation in all over the world. Lord God Almighty, Father, you know, you know, you know, we do not know, you know. We say, Lord, let your glory reign upon those nations. We say, let your unfailing glory reign upon those nations. We say, let your unfailing glory reign upon this nation. Jakura libre eti, jedura dushka ati, jakushte jadishta lalura ati, jita lura, jebra dushka, jebra dushe lita lura ati, jadira jadora jadishka ati, jebra kadushte jebra ka ati, jebra dushe lita lura endi, e libra anda, e libra ati, e li shakura dishki eti, zita lura endi, zebra kushta ati, zebra dalishka, zebra ka ati, zebra dushka eti, for the Lord Almighty, we thank you for blessing and healing those that are sick in the body, those that are going through all kinds of infirmity, those that are going through health-related challenges. We thank you for your word that has come upon their bodies. We thank you for your word that has come to set them free. We thank you for your word that has come to lift them from that body. See their body receiving life from above right now. You are receiving life from above right now. As you are hearing this voice, the voice of God thunders upon your body, upon your heart, into your heart, into your mind, setting you free from that sickness, relieving your body, releasing your body from that disease. Infirmity has no hold over your life. No affliction can seize you. It is the glory of the master, the glory of the Lord, the unfailing glory, the grace of God that has come upon your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you all the glory and honor. We adore your holy name. We magnify your holy name in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Ah, because of time, the Holy Spirit does not retire. The Holy Spirit does not retire because of time. Blessed, beautiful viewers. Uh, I'm just going to also ask uh, Kanye to uh, continue with the prayer quickly. We end it. They both seek our Lord. We give all the praise. We give all the honor and God Almighty. And we bow before the throne. We want to say thank you for this day that you have given us, Lord. For we know many have not made it, but by your grace and your mercy, that we are sustained. We are sustained because of your love and your humility, Lord God Almighty. We say thank you as you pray for this holiday, Lord God Almighty, to speak for protection on all people that are traveling and their journeys back, Lord God Almighty. For the Lord, as people are receiving their marks of their exams, Lord God Almighty. 
speak great grace from above, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, we, we pray for your political unrest all over the world. Lord God, we speak peace, we speak peace, we speak peace. Let your peace invade, Lord God, Almighty. let it invade, Lord Jesus. We pray for people in hospitals speaking your face, Lord God, Almighty, and speaking your presence. Lord, thinking that you are not present, Lord Jesus, we say, reveal yourself to them. Reveal yourself to them, Lord God, Almighty. We speak every sickness in your body and infirmity, Lord God Almighty, as we pray right now, we speak your deliverance by the stripes, Lord God Almighty, that you got, they are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus, as you pray for our generals all over the world, homeless, speaking for you, thinking that you are not present, Lord Jesus, we say, Lord God Almighty, we gather and call them forth to your word, we gather and call them forth, Lord God Almighty, from the east to the west, to the south, Lord God Almighty, to the west, Lord God Almighty, as we pray right now, we say we gather them forth to your word and under your shelves in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I hand over back to our Father. Amen. We give you thanks, we give you honor, we give you glory in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Blessed be brief with us. Uh, right now, we're going to ask uh, Kanye once again to lead us in now. Uh, quickly, uh, before we before we uh, say uh, uh, announcements, quickly lead us into salvation prayer there. For all those that have been touched by um the message that we have received. Please mm. follow us in this prayer. Father, Father, I say thank you. I say thank you. As I come before you. As I come before you. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Make me new. Make me new. I come before you. I come before you. Wanting to be part of the kingdom. Wanting to be part of the kingdom. Lord. Lord. I confess you. I confess you. As my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. I want to be born again. I want to be born again. I bow before your throne. I bow before your throne. And I proclaim you as my. King. And I proclaim you as my. King. I am a new person. I am a new person. The old has passed. The old has passed. The old has passed. And the new has started. And the new has started. In this journey. In this journey with me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We welcome you. We welcome you. As you have said this confession, indeed, the old is gone and the life is new right now. You are a new creation. Therefore, we say, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 1, it says, Therefore now there is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. There is no judging guilt. There is no condemnation as you have entered into the fullness of Christ, as you have entered into the heart of the Messiah. There is no one that can condemn you. There is no mouth. There is no lips that can condemn you. The old is indeed gone. Focus on the new which you have freely received from the master. We give God all the glory. We give God all the honor. Uh, also, go on with the... Uh, Announcement, please. Thank you so much. Um, viewers, the announcements of the day. We are in day 18, day 19 of um, our 21 day fasting, which is about Thanksgiving and gratitude. We invite you guys to join us tomorrow in day 20 of our 21 day fasting at half past five. And on Sunday, also at half past five later on, um, on our last day of our fasting. We invite you guys to pray with us and to also fast with us. Next week, we'll be starting with our weekly services, which start on Monday with our Bible study, following with Wednesday with our youth services and on Thursday with our ministering service. You're allowed to send your prayer requests on the um, comment section on Facebook on the lives. Or you may also join Zoom on the links in the descriptions above in the comment section in the Facebook post. Or you are also allowed to call um, the numbers also on posted on Facebook um, in the descriptions. You may reach the numbers reach out to our uh, the, our father and our mother, Apostle Jazri. You are allowed to call them or send a message and we'll read the messages out on the ministry service. On Sunday, we have our Sunday services, um, which start at nine o'clock. If any changes are to be made, we'll be posted on our social media accounts. Um, 
the times are most likely to change at times from 10 to 11. We'll keep you updated. Um, those are the announcements of the day. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's come for the King of Glory. Let's appreciate the Master. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, blessed, beautiful viewers. Uh, we've been blessed. We thank you so much. Uh, sympathetic cooperation. I'd like to acknowledge everyone on Facebook. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, our brothers and sisters there on Facebook. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for the comment. Right now, we'll be switch, switching over to Rabboni Center Ministries, uh, where we are better from. Uh, tomorrow, again, we uh, go on again from half past five. And Sunday, we'll be having one service, which will be in the morning. Uh, as they'll be making a declaration, we'll be giving the thanks. We, are, we, are, we would like to uh, ask, uh, ask everyone now we we'll join us that day to prepare our, our Holy Communion on Sunday. Prepare Holy Communion on Sunday is, is going to be an Holy Communion service. We uh, we ask you bring in the bring in the Holy Communion, bring in what you have there, and uh, let's give thanks to God. Let's partake in the in the life. Uh, let's partake in the supernatural food. Let's partake in the riches of His glory by offering ourselves as thanksgiving. Jesus offered Himself. God offered the Son. Jesus as, as a thanksgiving that we may be reconciled to him. Uh, so it's time for us to also give back to the Lord God Almighty. Uh, again, uh, um, as, as the announcer, announcement has been made, uh, we'll be beginning uh, our, our prompt service from next week. Uh, do join us on Monday uh, for Bible class. As you, as you recall that we are in the month of December and the month has been declared as the month of fruitfulness and multiplication. Uh, there shall be fruitfulness and there shall be multiplication. Uh, many will experience fruitfulness and multiplication in, in, in all the ways of their life, experience uh, uh, fruitfulness and multiplication. So we'll start with the teaching there on, on Monday, uh, uh, on Monday from half past five. We'll be meeting there on Monday from half past five. Uh, we thank God for this wonderful time that we've had. Uh, we thank God for his grace. Uh, we thank God for, for his presence in our life. We thank God for the enablement and God continue to enable us to do more. God continue to enable us. So we are encouraged by the words daily. Daily intake of the word uh, encourages us to do to do more and to know him more and to uh, abide by his word all the more. Uh, so it's, it's uh, considered it a pure joy when uh, you've been uh, 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 elected to uh, uh, to devote yourself to thanksgiving, uh, to devote yourself to uh, uh, offering yourself to prayers. Uh, um, now, we, we, as 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 we have, as you know, we we began over 19 days, and we're praying. We've been fasting. Also, we also uh, like to encourage you that uh, uh, there are many people out within your your surroundings. There, there are many people who are uh, uh, who needed things that you do not need. You know, something that you do not make use of anymore. So I'm saying those things that you do not make use of anymore, it is time for you to gather them and uh, also make a sacrifice and give, give to many out there, many that are around you there, give to them, bless them, bless them with what you do not use any longer. What, what is busy taking up space in your in your house there? What is busy taking up space in your, in your cupboards there? What you do no longer need. There are people, people who need it. So remember, we are blessed to bless others. We are enriched to reach others. So we are already blessed. Uh, on the auction of receiving Christ as our offering, the one that God made for us, the one that offered himself, Jesus Christ was offered to us. He was literally offered to come and lay down his life for us. So we also, we should also learn from the master, learn in, in giving. That's why, that's why when, 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 when you, when you uh, uh, read uh, 2 Corinthians 8, 2 Corinthians 9, you begin to understand the, the love that God has for someone who gives. Someone who gives. You see, he, he, someone will be saying, uh, uh, how is it that Papa is still uh, uh, love prevail is still ongoing? Why? He's, he's a giver. He understands what the dimension of God loves a cheerful giver. He understands that dimension. That's why he is, is, uh, uh, the, uh, the blessing that is upon his life is overflowing. You see, when you keep the command of God, when you keep the command of God, the verses that we, that we read today, Malachi chapter 3, verse 18, said, you will see you will see. You you. He said, I, "I will show to you." He said, "I will show to you." Let me just quickly take it again. Malachi chapter three, 
uh, for, for the sake of our, our brothers that just came in now. Malachi chapter 3. We are we already wrap, uh, wrapping up, as uh, Zukisani will say, wrap up, wrap up. So now, listen to this. Malachi, Malachi 3, verse 17 says, They will be my people, says the Lord of heaven armies. On the day when I act on in judgment, they will be my own special treasure. I will spare them as a father spares an obedient child. Then you will again see the difference between the righteous and the wicked, between those who serve God and those who do not. Did you hear that? He said, he says here in, in, in verse 16, say, then those who fear the Lord spoke with each other, and the Lord listened to what they said. In his presence, a scroll of remembrance was written to recall the names of those who feared him and others thought about the honor of his name. There is no way, there is no way you can gain knowledge without not having the fear of the Lord. There is no way you can gain wisdom without not having the fear of the Lord. There is no way you can penetrate to the riches of his glory without you not having the fear of the Lord. For as it's written, uh, he said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Fountain of wisdom. Did you see that? It's the beginning of what? The beginning, the fountain of what? Wisdom. So, so now, what are we saying here now? So, then those, verse 16, then those who fear the Lord spoke with each other, and the Lord listened. Those who fear the Lord, they communicate. They communicate. You see, when you when you have no fear of Omicron, when you have no fear of variants, when you have no fear of COVID pandemic, rather you fear you fear the Lord God Almighty, you fear the Lord of glory. When you communicate, when you have no fear of anything, when you have no fear of any man, man-made, man-made thing, when you have no fear of it, when you speak, the Lord listen. When you communicate, the Lord listen. When you ask, you see. He will not only give to you, he will, give, he will bless you all the more. He will bless you all the more. Because what? Your heart kept his word. Your heart kept his ordinances. Your heart hold on to his word. This is a secret. This is a secret that Apostle Paul was sh shared with us. Second Corinthians. Read first and second Corinthians. Read first and second Corinthians. This is the secret he shared. He went through this. And he was able to review. Because he went through it. Keeping obedient. Obedient of the word. Obedient of the word. See? Obedient is key for us in receiving. We gave reference there. Saul did not obey. And righteousness departs. And when righteousness departs, unrighteousness happens because sin is unrighteousness. Sin is unrighteousness is not pleasing to God. So the moment Saul did not obey, the righteous that 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 came upon him, the righteous that was with him, the righteous that led him there now departs. So we have received something. From God, something we should treasure because we are God's own treasure. We have received something that is more value, more value than precious and good. Listen to what Peter and John said. Acts three. Silver and gold, we do not have, but we have something more precious than gold and silver, which is the name, the righteousness of God, the Christ. And you remember, they began now to, to, uh, to uh, fully reflect the Christ because they obeyed. When you read from the same book of Acts, from chapter 1, they follow instruction this time. They stayed in the open room waiting as they were told. So the day of the Pentecost, the Holy Spirit now comes upon them. So obedience is key. Obedience. If God has placed things in your heart, follow through. Don't begin to postpone. If God has placed things in your heart for you to do, don't postpone. If God has said, give to these people, 
Now you begin to measure. The one that says that you should give is the same hand that is going to provide for you. And it will provide abundantly. Abundantly means overflow. So it's when you do not listen, you cheat him. You cheat him and you cheat yourself. The cheating him is that you are preventing him to allow his fullness, which he pleased to give. He pleases God to give his fullness. But on the other hand, many people, they do not allow, they don't want to allow his fullness to dwell. You, 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 you tend to cheat yourself from receiving his fullness. His fullness is there, always at work. Say he's active. Say, say his word is active. Always at work. Always active. Always active. Always active. So we thank God. Blessed viewers. We thank God. Uh, we, we would like to welcome our, our brothers and sisters there. Uh, Prophet Raymond, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Divine Eunice, how are you? Thank you so much. 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 Can you omit Divine Eunice? Thank you. Good evening, Papa. Uh, good evening, Divine. Good evening, Divine. How are you? I'm doing well in yourself. Ah, we bless God. We thank God. We thank God. How are you doing? How is the family? Uh, my family, they are okay. And then wonderful. I just came back from work. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Uh, we thank God for your life. We thank God for your life. Uh, Though we are we are just about to wrap up now and go back to Rabboni Center Ministries right now, uh, so um, I just want to know how you are and how is the family and what is happening with the work. Yeah, I just came back from work now. Then the other lady I'm working with, her, it's my friend. She tested positive today, uh, so very close. Oh, uh, yeah, you're very close. Yeah, very, very close. Uh, and she was tested positive. Yeah, she tested positive today. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Okay. No, are you having any, are you feeling any, any symptom, any symptom in your body? Are you feeling any symptom in your body? No, what I can tell you is like, uh, five, since five months back, I'm always having like, Two weeks flu, then it's gone. Two weeks flu, then it's gone. I always take medication and then I'm tired of taking pills. I feel like I'm addicted now. Uh, yeah, because okay. it's, it's like the sinuses and the sneezing. Sometimes it's coping. Then mm. I take medication. It will stop for maybe two weeks. Then it comes back. Even now, I can do mm. my nose. They are blocked. You know? Your nose are blocked right now. Okay. Yeah. No, it is well. Don't worry. Don't worry, you, you will examine yourself after we minister to you right now. You will check your body, you will check yourself right now. It is a word of God that has come from the rooftop of where you are right now. The light, the light of God has come upon your body right now. The word of God locates your body right now, setting you free. The light of God has come upon your body from the crown of your head. The word will locate you right now. The blockage your nose tree right now departs completely. The part from your body right now. That blockage the part from your body right now. Part from your body right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The glory of the Lord rests upon you right now. The glory of the Lord overshadow your life right now. The glory of the master overshadow your life right now. You are being made though, you are being delivered. The glory of the Lord rests upon you right now. Every every blockage, every blockage in your nose right now, every blockage in your lungs right now departs. The world of love penetrates into your chest right now. The world of love penetrates into your chest right now. I penetrate into your chest right now with the swell of the spirit. Penetrate into your body right now. <laughs> Penetrate into your chest right now. 
the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm feeling hot. Very hot. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. The life light of God. Life light of my body right now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Um, life light come upon your body right now. Life light come upon your body right now. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. How are you feeling now? Yeah, I'm I'm no longer blocked now. You're no longer blocked. Amen. Amen. No. And and I your was body? And your chest? What is happening it's with your chest? It's okay now. I was just feeling very okay hot, now. like it's too much hot in the house. Oh, okay. No, it is way. It is way. Uh, uh, can you get? Can you just get a glass of water? Right? Let's let's declare the blood right now. Get a glass of water quickly. <laughs> Amen. Uh, this is the glory of the master. This is the blood that speaks a better message. Amen. This is the blood that is being presented. This is the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. This is the blood that went into the tomb and raised the mortal body of Jesus. This is the blood that speaks a better message. This is the blood that brings everlasting life. As you are taking this blood right now, I declare the cup you are holding right now to become the cup of my father. The content now is the blood of Christ as you partake from it right now. So the healing right now you receive be permanent. The glory of the Lord rests abundantly upon you permanently. So partake in the life, partake in his fullness. A rivers of living water flows, flows within you from your innermost. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Amen. 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 And then, we thank God. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, I was saying, I have another prayer request. Um, my brother is not staying with us, but he's married in Houghton. So he told me that his wife is in hospital. So he was asking that I, I must pray with them. Apparently, okay. I don't have the... What, what, what is your wife's name? What is, he, what, what is his, your brother's name? And what is his wife's name? Uh, it's uh, what is the name? I forgot the name. I don't know what's happening, but I just forgot the name now. No, I mean your brother's name and his wife. What are their names? My brother's name is Jim. Jimmy. Yeah. Okay. So now you you forgot the 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 name of oh, his I wife. Think, yeah. Fine. Jimmy, uh, uh, the word of the locate Jimmy right now. The brother of Eunice. The water locating wherever he is right now. The water will penetrate into his body. The water will locate his wife wherever she is right now. Whichever Lorna. hospital that. Lorna. 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 The world yes. will locate Lorna, the wife of Jimmy. The world will locate her. The life, the light of God locate her body, setting her free from that yoke of sickness. Whatsoever that has held her bound. The glory of the master has come over, over our body. The life, the light of God has come over her right now. She is made set free. Whatever form of sickness, whatever form of infirmity that befell her right now, the glory of the master rests abundantly upon her. The life, the light of God has come over her body. She is okay. set free. She is made whole. She is delivered. Okay. That sickness depart from her body. That evil sickness depart from her body right now. That evil sickness depart from her life. Whatever Jimmy is right now, I declare the rest of God upon his life right now. I declare, I declare the glory of the God upon his life right now, whatever he is right now. I declare his mind right now to be aligned with the word of master. Whatever Jimmy is right now, I declare the glory of the Lord. As we use you, you need as a point of contact to your brother and his wife right now. The glory of the Lord manifest upon our body right now. We use you as a point of contact right now. Lona, she is set free. 
whatever pains, whatever pains that is upon our body, whatever pains that is upon our life right now, the word of the locator setting us free. The glory of the Lord locates our body right now. I declare her free. I declare her healed. I declare her saved. I declare her delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will, uh, you will, you will call your brother and, and find out how Lona is doing. Eh? Then, you, then you let me know, okay? Hello, Eunice. Is she frozen? No, that's okay. Okay. Okay, Eunice, if you are listening on Facebook, uh, you will check on your on your brother and uh, check on your brother and ask him. Oh, yeah, you are. You're back. Okay, so you will check on Jimmy and ask him to call Lona and find out how she's doing. I will believe she's set free. We believe the Lord of Glory have done it for her. We believe the word. The perfect world has come to perfect her imperfection, departs all unrighteousness, departs from her life. We believe she's been set free. We believe she's been healed. We believe the glory of the Lord has come upon her mightily. So you will call your brother and find out how she is, and you will send us the beautiful testimony. God loves you. Do you have any other prayer requests? Mm, no, no. It was only thought. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. Uh, before we say to God be the glory, I would like to. Uh, I hand over to my brother there to sign off, to sign up out from, from Rabonite International Ministries and sign off in to Rabo, Raboni Center Ministries. I uh, will hand it over to you, my beautiful brother, uh, Prophet Raymond Kazi. I love you so much. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Over to you. Over to you there. Over to you. Amen. 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 Greetings. Uh, greetings, men of God, the Apostle of Grace. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And all the generals in the house there, uh, Sister Jessica, Sister Kanye, and the woman of God, Apostle Jezri, greetings to all of you. We bless God. Thank you so much uh, for keeping us in prayer and then continuing uh, with the business of the Father. We bless God. We thank God. And also, uh, blessed greetings to Says Divine there. Says Divine Unis, you are blessed. It was not uh, an appointment without the purpose. So we bless God that as you came in, God has touched you. God has blessed you. Uh, we, are, we are just awaiting your great testimony. In fact, it's not just a testimony because it's not one prayer request. That was attended unto. We bless God for the testimonies that are given by the will of God. We bless God so much. Thank you so much for allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you. You were led by the Spirit. We bless God that you allowed Him to lead you. And then it was for a reason. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We bless God. We glorify the Lord. Thank you so much, everyone who tuned in from every platform. We appreciate you for sympathetic cooperation. We thank you for oneness. Thank you those who are with us uh, through uh, Facebook, through YouTube, through Instagram, through TikTok, every platform that is given. We appreciate you so much for your fellowship and for your love. May the grace of God continue to keep you and preserve you. And uh, I believe everyone is sorted, everyone is settled. We, we bless God. Thank you so much, the Apostle of Grace. We appreciate you. We appreciate you so much for the word. We bless God for the word of life, and we bless God for what he has given to everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, blessed saints, uh, we are not ending as the man of God has already stated. We are going to continue uh, through Raboni Center Ministries. We appreciate you for being uh, with us. So from us as Rabbonites International Ministries, we say we love you. We love you. We love you. You are nested in our hearts. We glorify God for you. So catch us tomorrow as the, the announcements have already been given. As the fasting continues, tune in, be encouraged. Let us partake together. God is with you and God loves you. Forget about what you are going through. Just look unto Jesus. Focus on him. He loves you dearly. He cannot afford to lose you. You are greatly, greatly, greatly loved. And together, 
we are blessed. And I'm saying to us, it is to God be the glory. We love you. We thank you. Mwah. Bless you. To God be the glory. Amen.